Posen as actors. Posen, you know, he would, he, he's so funny. Engaged him, he would always do his thing. Um, I think, but yeah, it, I th- sorry, go on. No, no, it's, he's got such a great delivery. His, his character was hilarious. Um, I always think of him as like more cynical in his stand up, but then as like sweeter as Octus. Um, Octus was kind of sweet, wasn't he? Yeah. He, he's sort of, and he was funny. He was, he was, his, he was funny. His cutaways were always funny and Brian's delivery was great. Um, yes, Brian's stand up is, is different than Octus, but, uh, that just goes to show how talented he is. You know, he can do so many different things. Um, and his, uh, his comedy is great. His comedy is, it's, it's definitely R rated. So if you're not old enough, don't, you know, but <laughs> it's, uh, they won't listen. It's, yeah, you know, so, um, but if you are check it out cause he is hilarious. Yeah. I saw him on Mr. Show, which Tom Kenny was also on, who was a few episodes as the reporter. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Kenny was on, he played a, he played a couple God, Tom Kenny, man, that guy is great. Um, yeah, he was the person who made me first interested in voice acting actually. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, he reached so many people with SpongeBob, you know, mm-hmm. and Bill Fogerbach, he was on the show too. I don't yes, know if you know that. Yeah, meet the, 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 the jock, no, the tough yeah, guy, he sounds so, exactly like Patrick. Yeah, Patrick Starr and uh, SpongeBob. I got to work with both of them, which uh, when I tell my, you know, my younger cousins, they're like, what? That's crazy, man. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, the, uh, Bill was, Bill's such a great guy. Uh, I always knew him as Dauber from, you know, from Coach. But um, obviously, Patrick Starr, he's, you know, it's, it's huge. And Tom has got, he's reached so many people with, with, with what he does. And also, James Arnold Taylor was on the show, which I don't know if a lot of people know. I know, you know who he, is. he He, he, you know, well, he's like, you know, he's Star Wars, he's Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan you yeah. know. And then he's got a resume, you know, that can go on for days. Um, and, uh, and he was in several episodes and, and he's one of like the absolute nicest people, like nicest people you'd ever want to meet. Cause when I worked with him, when we did star Wars, he remembered me and like, he meets so many people he could easily, you know, you know, we could, one would be the, this, as similar as the next, but he remembered me and he, you know, said nice things about me to a casting director. And it's like, so I got, I got really lucky. I got to meet a lot of people. Bravo is like, oh. he wants to talk. Maybe, Can you hear him? Uh, well, someone wrote, hold on, I'm just going to say what one person wrote then. I think, well, hold on. Oh, maybe I can't see. I think bartender Stevie wrote, we're going to keep fighting for it, for, you know, oh, nice. Saint Titan. And I think we'll just wrap, you, wrap this up since you, I'm sure you want to take your dog for a walk. You want to make dinner. Yeah. I'm um, going to take Bravo out. I'm going to go uh, uh, probably kill something. Uh, thank you so much for coming on my show. I, uh, I love Titan so much, and I'm really glad we got to spend like an hour or our 10 yeah. minutes talking about the show mostly thank you so much and yeah no worries thanks for getting in contact and uh and uh good luck with the show i think you, you know if you, if you keep going about it the way you're doing it you know and you and you you approach good people and and um who knows maybe you'll be an animator slash radio dj oh thank you you know because i i'm you know uh animating is a lot of hard work so maybe sometimes you want to do a radio show you go home and relax and just talk on the radio for a little bit thanks <laughs> it's a good time. Thanks very much for having me. It's been fun. It's been fun for me too. I think maybe even more so. Oh, no worries. All right. Uh, thank you and peace out. And I'll play your song. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm uh, back from the interview. And so I guess I'm just going to leave a few comments about it so yeah uh so what he said was coordinated efforts are most effective because if we er, if we do everything at once and in a very precise sort of movement then it'll have a greater effect and he also said don't swear uh we need to be mature since we want to show that we are serious about bringing the show back and writing letters is a lot more effective than sending emails. So it's preferred that you send in a letter. And the reason is because it's going to show that you put in the effort and the time in doing it. So you're going to, you're pretty much going to send them a good message through it. And uh, don't trash talk hard to network through it. I'm sure they get it that uh, people are mad, but really you need to kind of just, you need to just, not really be mad, not be happy. You just need to be neutral with it and show that, yes, we want this show back and you need to write that on paper and mail it to them because that will, that will show 
uh, some effectiveness into it. Um, send in purple shirts. A lot of people are doing that. And uh, send in fan art because that seems to be uh, a great substitute for uh, if you can't like afford a purple shirt. Uh, work together and communicate. Uh, we normally discuss how to get the show back on Facebook, on our Facebook page. So uh, head on over there, like the page, and uh, you can hop in in the live chat. We're pretty much always on chatting with each other. Just Sometimes we're just talking about random stuff. Other times it's, it's business. We're trying to get things moving. A uh, strongly worded letter, and, not, and don't swear. Don't swear. Just strongly worded, and remember, be mature about it. So... Uh, it will really go a long way if you just send a strongly worded letter. And he said, be concise. Like, be concise with it. And all right, last things uh, we have is, uh, uh, yeah. Um, I want to give credit to Abigail Terran. And uh, basically what she did was she, she was the DJ. So that was Abigail talking to Kevin. And so I want to give a big shout out to her for... Uh, for doing that interview because, you know, without her, this video wouldn't be possible. And uh, I'll put a link to her website in the description because you guys should definitely check it out. It's really awesome. She does all kinds of interviews with very cool people. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if she has a Twitter. Um, if I knew her Twitter, I would definitely put a link to that. And um, what else? Uh, sh I'm not sure if she has a YouTube channel, but I know she has a Facebook um, uh, I think I think I'll put a link to that in the description. So check out her Facebook so you know when her radio shows are and everything. Let's so check back there. Um, uh, um, subscribe to our channel because it really supports our cause and it gets our channel out there and shows more people in the YouTube community to check out our other pages. And expect more updates in the future because I will be updating more things. So don't just like completely ignore this channel because I'm still going to be posting videos and things. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description too. Uh, like us on Facebook. That's where we're pretty much most mostly active. But um, our website is uh, where we're trying to move our mostly active. But since we're on Facebook all the time, we just completely see each other. And it makes things easier. But our website is more our professional use right over there. Uh, register on our website. I'll put a link to the website in the description, so you can go register there, and it'll sh and it'll help out. Oh yeah, um, post the Save Titan comment on every Titan-related video. From like, I'll put a little uh, sh thing in the description. It basically says like, uh, let me pull it up here. Uh, basically says, Save Titan. Join the Facebook group. Help Symbiote Titan get another season. Tell your friends and post this on all Titan-related videos. What you want to do is pretty much copy and paste that, put on it, and pretty much, uh, and pr pretty much like just post it on every Symbiote Titan-related video you find on YouTube, and it and make people just thumbs up it, and people just thumbs up it, and it gets our the whole movement out there and makes more people aware. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll be posting more updates in the future, so check back soon.